Kendrick Lamar won the battle. Kendrick Lamar, the rap savior, won the battle with Drake. To all the K-Barbs and K-Dot fans out there, bruh, this is not about Kendrick and Drake. If you hop in this comment section, bruh, talking about Kendrick and Drake, you getting violated and blocked, bruh. This is... Kendrick won the battle. We concede. Now can we move on to the real conversation? Now can we have the real conversation? Kendrick won the battle. Now can we have the real conversation, bruh? Can we move past... Kendrick won the battle. Y'all got it, bruh. He won the battle. Y'all got it. Now can we move on to have the real conversation? And that's what I'm asking Charlamagne of God and the rest of y'all to do is have the real conversation here, bruh. Charlamagne of God just gave a take on Drake that is leaving rap fans divided. Damn, Charlamagne, who got the donkey of the day today? Well, just hilarious. Uh, donkey of the day for Monday, December 2nd goes to Aubrey Drake Graham. We was on vacation all last <laughs> week, so I didn't get the opportunity to properly give Drake the credit he deserves for being stupid. Charlamagne of God came on E5 Tunde's airwaves to give Drake donkey of the day and called him stupid because Drake announced his intentions to sue his own record label, UMG, by filing a petition. Now, the lawsuit is complicated. We're going to break it down in a few seconds. But let here Rory give you guys the basis of this lawsuit. I have no dog in this fight. I like Kendrick's music. I like Drake's music. I also think both of them have used bots via UMG, whether they knew it or not. What stood out to me in that paperwork was the accusation that UMG lowered their licensing rate by 30% for Not Like Us. Just a quick, quick history lesson. How we even got to the value of what a stream is was based off Spotify and the three majors negotiating on what that value would be. What makes it even crazier is all three majors have actual stock and ownership within Spotify. That would be illegal in any other business in the world, but it's a music industry, so anything can fly. I'll, to the point that I worked at a major when Spotify went public, and they emailed all of us as employees and said, you cannot buy stock because that would be insider trading. Now imagine you're an artist and you know that the people that own your music plus the people that distribute your music, which is a whole separate tech company, are in cahoots to define what a dollar means within the music industry. And then you later find out that for one artist and one song, they devalued that dollar. You wouldn't have an issue with it? Before we get to the bigger picture and address the most important thing of this lawsuit, which is the value of a metric. Before we get to that, bruh, let's just address the least important thing, bruh. Right? The one thing that's probably the least important, which is Drake feels cheated. Boo hoo, cry me a river. We don't give a damn. Drake feeling like, hey, bruh, I'm signed to a label and my own label went against me and made sure this particular song that I was competing with outdid me. My own label helped spread false accusations against me and made me lose a battle from his perspective to devalue me so they could give me less to resign. Respectfully, Aubrey, we don't care. He called you a pedo, he violated. Grab a pistol and go feed your family, homie. If you feel violated, that midget called you a pedo, go make him bleed. We don't care, homie. The only reason we give a damn about this lawsuit, bro, is because you waking some shit up right now. I'm being as honest as I can be with you, homie. We don't care you got shorted a couple hundred million in negotiation. Grab a pistol and go feed your family, Igaboo. We don't give a damn. Go cry a river for the ninjas who care. You waking some shit up right now. So we got to speak on the bigger picture. This little minuscule battle you trying to fight with Kendrick, bruh, do that on your free time, bruh. Let's stick to the bigger picture about this lawsuit, which is why I have an issue with Charlamagne the God and his commentary on this. Because the bigger picture ain't about Kendrick and Drake. We could give a damn about Drake tears, bruh. It's about the value, bruh. It's about what's an algorithm. What is virality? What's the value of a stream? Who got the answers, bro? This is what it's about. In this lawsuit, we're going to break down shortly exactly how this lawsuit will answer those questions, bro. But let's just go back to Charlamagne of God, who, by the way, is an employee of iHeartMedia, 
who Drake is asking UMG to turn over documents so he could prove that iHeartMedia was involved with UMG and Spotify in slandering him and doing damage to him. Now, the employee of iHeartMedia is giving Drake donkey of the day and saying Drake is an ass for suing UMG. Let's hear exactly what he had to say. Well, just hilarious. Uh, donkey of the day for Monday, December 2nd goes to Aubrey Drake Graham. We was on vacation all last <laughs> week, so I didn't get the opportunity to properly give Drake the credit he deserves for being stupid. But if you haven't heard, last week, Frozen Moments LLC, a company managed by Drake, filed a petition in the New York Supreme Court accusing UMG and Spotify of engaging in a scheme to ensure Kendrick Lamar's not like us broke through on multiple screaming platforms. According to the petition, Aubrey Graham claimed the label used dishonest tactics to increase the number of listeners for not like us on Spotify and radio stations. He also filed another petition against UMG alleging defamation and claiming that the label could have stopped the release of not like us, which the rapper said in the document is a song falsely accusing him of being a sex offender. Kids, so if you're going to accuse somebody of defamation, you must first make sure you too aren't guilty of defamation, okay? Drake saying that Kendrick defamed him is indeed the pot calling the kettle bay. See, what I don't like is when people play in our faces. Charlamagne the God is acting slow to derail the conversation on purpose. Drake is not suing Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar is not going to be listed as a defendant. Drake fight right now is with UMG. So when Drake is bringing up things like, oh, UMG, you help push a song that defamed me. This is Drake just putting the pressure on, on the UMG, bruh. This is Drake just dogpiling whatever he can dogpile on UMG to make them buckle and fold. So if they do weasel out of one accusation, they can't weasel out of this ironclad defamation. This is not against Kendrick Lamar. It's against UMG. And we know why Drake is dogpiling UMG. And you know, after this lawsuit, I have to say, I agree because Drake doesn't understand how any of this works. Number one, Not Like Us was very popular. <laughs> okay, it's still very popular. <laughs> yeah. It was an instant smash. All right, Not Like Us isn't just a hit record. It's a rare cultural phenomenon. Records like that don't come along too often. Records like that can't be programmed. I don't care how much money you spend at radio or on playlists, whatever it is, when something is a cultural phenomenon, you can't buy that. He knows that isn't true. And I mean this respectfully, man, because Charlamagne the God is the godfather of hip-hop media. Charlamagne the God is one of the GOATs, if not the GOAT. I'll put him number two, academics number one. So he knows better, bro. He knows that isn't true. What, a cultural phenomenon can't be a psyop? Is you out of your mind, bro? <laughs> yo, bro, yo, what checks got cleared, homie? Yo, who cut it? Yo, yo, bro. Yo, who cut the check, homie? Yo, who... Yo, who cut that check this morning, bruh? Huh? Things like this can't be faked. Is you out of your mind? Fam, cultural phenomenons, hit songs, iconic records, bruh, they are all psyops. You think a record is going to get this big without intervention from the record label? You think a record is big... It's just organically this big. Is you out of your mind, bro? Oh, you think TNT, ESPN, ABC, CBS was blasting not like us before every broadcast just because they're so tapped in the hip hop culture, right? <laughs> oh, you think Spotify had not like us on every Spotify playlist just because, right? <laughs> oh, you think the metadata where you searched up any song, no matter what it is, Kendrick Lamar, not like us, popped up as one of the options, right? <laughs> oh, man. Yo, I'm laughing because obviously Charlamagne the God isn't naive, and he knows, bro. Obviously, the checks got cleared, homie, because ain't no way, like, you'll see the God. One of the goats is trying to derail the conversation, spilling nonsense, bro. Okay, you can't buy culture drake not like us was a cultural identifier for a whole coast i wouldn't be surprised if california made the state motto uh they not like us one day right now their state motto is eureka so they need an upgrade okay and they not like us would absolutely be a better model but it's the three quarter theory meaning the record label can take a song one quarter of the way so if the song drop and it's a song that galvanize a community 
It's a song that resonates. It's a song that's already viral. It's a song that's going to be number one already. And the record label takes it one quarter of the way extra. Well, that takes a song from a smash hit to a perennial smash hit to a once in a generation iconic anthem. And Not Like Us was probably already gonna galvanize the West Coast. It was probably already gonna go number one. It was probably already gonna be a smash hit. But the record label taking it an extra quarter forward made it into a once in a generation anthem. And that's what took place. But people would try to muddy up the conversation to say, yo, yo, you can't buy a cultural no. No, the record label cannot curate and make a cultural anthem, but a record label can take something the culture is gravitating towards and make it into a once in a generational anthem. Well, when you do that, while he's going to war and battle with one of your other artists, that artist can say, hold up, Brad, well, that's not fair. You're using bots, calling in favors, paying payola. That's wrong. Now, Shulman of God did say something though, that I do agree with. A hundred percent, I agree with what he's about to say next. But even with Drake's huge fan base, don't think for one second, whatever the label UMG was doing to promote, uh, you know, not like us, they were doing the same thing for you your whole career. Okay, if one of those diss records you put out would have taken off and been a cultural phenomenon like not like us, the record label would have pushed that too. How would how would you be clowning Kendrick right now if Kendrick said, uh, you know, UMG, you didn't have to let Drake put that record out? That's the thing. Nobody with a brain is saying that UMG hasn't utilized the same tactics to make Drake into a global phenomenon or to give Drake viral global hits before. We're saying that right there should be a plus because now Drake understands from the inside exactly what those tactics are. And because Drake understands it, Drake is the one. He's the person who got to die for this cause. He's the person that got to be a martyr. He's the person that got to come to the table and say, yo, they did this with Kendrick because they did this with me. And here's what they did. He's the one who could kill the system from within. And instead of us trying to focus and be petty, right? Try Kendrick won. You got what you want, homie. Kendrick won. So instead of us being petty and trying to focus on this Kendrick and Drake, why not we come to the table, right, and say, hey, listen, bro, we're supporting Drake now. Hey, listen, the beef is over. Kendrick, you won, bro. And now it's time for us, it's us to support this beef with Drake and UMG. But you know why people like Charlemagne and others will probably never come out and support this UMG Drake cause, bro? It's because of, like, what's in the black and white, all right? Yo, Charlemagne Boss is literally <laughs> listed in the lawsuit as saying, hey, listen, bro. All right, UMG and iHeartMedia have a long-standing symbiotic business relationship where iHeartMedia pays UMG to license and collect royalties for UMG artists' songs over radio, airplay, and streaming services. As demonstrated by iHeartMedia bankruptcy filings in 2018, the amount of money exchanged between iHeartMedia and UMG is substantial. In the last quarter of 2023, UMG through its recorded music and publishing division had an ownership interest in more than 60% of the 100 songs listed on the Billboard Hot 100 radio charts. Without its business deals with UMG, iHeartMedia will lose access to a majority of its top radio hits. So Drake is saying it should be unfair for UMG to pick up that phone and call in a favor to iHeartMedia and the radio stations attached to iHeartMedia over the public airways and say, hey, bruh, run not like us X amount of time. That should be illegal and unfair. It should be unfair for UMG to contact Spotify and say, hey, bruh, make not like us the biggest song on the platform like this month. It should be unfair for them to call the radio station and say, hey, bruh, make not like us the most spin song on your radio station this month. It should be unfair for them to say, hey, bruh, YouTube, yo, take 100 million bots, bruh. Make not like us the most trending, biggest song on the platform this month. It should be unfair. Because if the buttons are being pushed and it's not authentic, then the waters get muddy and we don't understand what an algorithm is, what the value of a stream is, and what the metrics are. 
And if we don't understand it, and the only people who do is the record labels, that's a problem for everybody. Because it's no longer an issue with resources. Because Drake got a billion dollars, homie. Drake is saying, yo, I got a billion dollars, homie, and I don't know the avenues and the channels to do what y'all did for not like us. I don't know how to do that for myself. I got a billion dollars. I got access to the same people in this UMG building. How come only you guys know the what and the how? And that right there is the issue that the Igaboos don't want to talk about. And they'd rather talk about this Drake and Kendrick ish. It's the Socrates. Yo, it's the same shit with Socrates, bro. Socrates was a goofy old man with no written body of work. He wasn't a scholar. He wasn't at the prestigious institutions. He was just a goofy old man who would go to the marketplace and the playgrounds and ask people questions. But the ruling authority in Athens considered Socrates the biggest threat to their ruling authority and they put him on trial, bro. You know why? Because Socrates wasn't somebody who was at the institution speaking to the scholars and speaking to the elites. He wasn't writing propaganda pieces to be dissected by the elites and the bougies. Nah, bro. He went to the marketplace and had a mantra. And his mantra was, I know that I do not know. And he will question people on their beliefs. When they say, hey, bro, that's God right there. That statue is God. He will ask them why. Why is that statue God? And when they could not... Like, tell him, hey, bro, this is why this is God. When they cannot really dissect and regurgitate exactly why they believe that's God, well, he would have the midwifery theory, which is, yo, I'm a midwife. I am forcing you to birth new ideas and new theories. And when they were forced to birth new ideas and new theories, well, they became awakened. And he wouldn't go to the institutions. He would go to the marketplace where the average man and average woman was. And he would go to the playground where, where, where um, you know, the kids was. And he was forcing people to birth new ideas, the midwifery, right? To birth new ideas. And Athens, the ruling authority considered that the biggest threat to their society. So much, they put him on trial. Now, Athens was so slick, right? That they said, listen, bro, we just can't like capture this man, hang him and cut his head off, right? Because that will like sort of, you know, that will create public discourse, people, you know, folks would be terrified and scared. This will create mass hysteria. We're going to have his own people lynch him, right? We're going to have his own people decide his fate. So they put him on trial, sent a jury of his peers, and they went to trial and said, yo, this man is bad for society because he's forcing people to wake up. And the ruling authority has such a stronghold on the people and their propaganda was so strong that the very same people that Socrates was risking his life to wake up, those same people was forced with two decisions. Give Socrates a fine and let him go or give him life in prison and sentence him to death. Those same people that Socrates spent his whole life trying to awake, they sentenced him to death and he died by poison in a prison cell at 70 years old for trying to awake the people. Right, it, it, he he committed no crimes. He ain't killed nobody, robbed nobody, hurt nobody. He was in the marketplace in the playground asking people why they believe what they believe, and a jury of his peers, not the elites, a jury of his peers, sentenced him to death for it. So in this so in this situation, bro, Drake is the vehicle we have to ask why. A lot of these questions that's going unanswered, it's a problem, yo. It's a problem that I and you don't know what an algorithm is. It's a problem that I and you don't know what the value of virality is. It's a problem that I and you don't know what the value of a stream is. It's a problem that I and you don't know the metric and the formula for an anthem and a hit. It's a problem. And we don't know it is a problem. You know why? Because if only they know it, and every time somebody asks, why do only they know it? And what exactly is an algorithm or what and why and how they get excommunicated every time. And it's not a, yo, 
it's not a scenario where, yo, the record labels are the ones with billions of dollars, so they're the ones who could make this happen. That's not the case, yo. Currently, we've seen with Michael Jackson, we've seen with Drake, having billions of dollars is no longer the metric to make things happen. Having people in the building with uh, relationships isn't the metric to make things happen. Because if that was the case, Drake would have access to the same tools to make family matters just as big as not like us. We've seen people like Meek Mill go independent and they got access to millions of dollars. They got access to the same people in those buildings, but they don't got the button to push. And we want to know exactly where that button is to push. And the fact that everybody is seeing, bro, that this man is about to seek those questions, he's about to ask why and how in a public trial, and we about to see them answer for this, and you niggas is talking about Kendrick and Drake? What is wrong with you niggas, bro? I don't understand it. Are y'all so, yo, are y'all so obsessed with the crumbs that Masa is giving you niggas, bro, that, 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 that y'all don't understand why this is important? I don't understand why y'all don't understand why this is important. It's blowing my mind. I'm baffled. And because I'm baffled that y'all don't understand, I can't wrap my head around why y'all don't understand, I'm starting to believe that y'all do understand. But y'all just rather take that check and not think about it. Because this is the only time in music history, bruh, that we're gonna get the answer for what is the algorithm? What, what, and how is about to get answered? And the fact that y'all are standing in the way of this, for what reason? I don't know. It's not about Kendrick or Drake, bruh. Kendrick, you won, bruh. Let's get the answers. For anybody who is talking against this lawsuit, bruh, Question their intentions. Question who's paying them. Y'all let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think about this, all right? Let me know. And if you're still watching, man, click on this video somewhere on my screen. Bro, I'm so, bro, 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 I can't stand these igaboos, man. All right, listen, if you're still watching, man, click on this video somewhere on my screen, man, to find out about the new video that could end the career of the Hawk Tua girl. Click on this video right here to find out exactly what I'm talking about. I'm out of here, folks. Peace.